Major enhancements have been made to clamps and fixtures. When we have on a CNC router, for example, we have a, an automated table with cups that can move independently and rails that can move. Um, it allows us to um, take advantage of this, but some major changes have been made for the, in this area. In the Define clamp, we have new configuration options. First one is set position check geometry. If I have a look at the um, image, if I see the clamp, this clamp clamps down. Um, what I want to do is actually want a clamp on the cylinder um, rather than the um, top of the clamp when I move it in and I bump up against a material. So what I've done here is defined a, a geometry here that represents my um, positioning check geometry. Next we have set containment check geometry. Some clamps are the, um, on a rail, for example, can only move in a certain area. What we have on this containment geometry is a notch that allows me to say these clamps can't move beyond that notch. And also we have the ability to say that a clamp can pop up and once popped up, it can pop down again. So for example, if I'm in cycle clamping and I want to move a clamp, the first thing that I want to do is pop it up. I want to move the clamp and when it reaches its position, I then want to pop it down again. We also have the ability to use alternative geometries. So, on this table here, I have some clamps that clamp down on a component, like a joinery component, but also on the table I might have some cups, for example, which allows me to put a panel on top of those cups and machine a panel. So what we can now do is have um, alternate geometries so we can move from one setup to the next. A lot of development has been undertaken to enhance clamps and fixtures. If I look here on the left hand side in the project manager pane in the layers tab, I can see my different clamps and fixtures and their definitions. So if I right click and I edit clamp definition, the base or the table I've called main, it can't move in X, Y or Z and it doesn't have a parent. If I now have a look at one of the bars, if I right click clamp definition, well here this bar is movable, it can move only parallel to the x-axis and it has a parent which is main and it's confined to that parent. If I have a look at one of my bases and right click edit clamp definition, so here I have a base, this is movable and it can only move in Y its parent is bar 1 and it's confined within that parent. And finally, if I look at my clamp at the top, so these are extruded 2D geometries and this is actually a solid. If I right click, edit clamp definition, so this one here just has a parent of base 1 underscore 1, so I'll actually uh, move with it. But what it also has is this set positioning check geometry, which is here. That means that whenever I butt up against the material, for example, it will do it on the cylinder and it can ignore the top. If I look from the top here, my bars actually move within the main, the table, so I must make sure that the geometry is a little bit smaller. So with this now configured, it means that I can move a clamp here, and these move, and if I pick my next one, they move across. Let's just undo those. What I can also do here, if I come down to one of my clamps and I right click, I can define an alternate geometry and this is new in this version of AlphaCam. So if I pick this geometry here, I want to call this cup 
three underscore one and say OK to that. So what I now have potentially is an alternate geometry. So if I right click now, I can um, use alternate geometry and I'm actually going to use a, a cup here. So that means on all my um, table configurations I can have lots of different um, fixturing types. In this case I've got clamps but what I can also do is have for example cups here if I want to put my panel on and what I can do is go through the whole of the table um, adding these alternate geometries. In the latest version of AlphaCam I have the ability to define a containment geometry. So if I look at the top here what I'm going to do is just move a clamp and that clamp moves freely until it butts up against these other clamps. But maybe, for example, these two clamps on the bottom can't move into the top half of the table. So what I can do is if I go to the bar and I edit clamp definition, I can actually set a containment check geometry. Pick my geometry. And now if I look from the top, and this time now try and move a clamp, for example, this clamp here, I can't move past this notch and vice versa for the clamps underneath. What I'm very careful to do is to make sure the containment geometry is larger than my clamp, allowing it to move. Let's now look at using clamps and fixtures in anger. What I have is my table loaded on the screen and I'm going to go to the file menu and I'm going to insert my component. Look from the top and what I have is a, a material here defined. So I want to set my initial start positions. I want to get my clamps in position before I start to undertake any machining. So let's move my clamps Let's move this one here and move it down. This one here and move it back. Let's clamp down and then move it into position. And you can see that it's stopping at the material. The shape of the material can now be anything that you require, an extruded geometry before the clamps and fixtures would only bump up against a, a rectangular material. While I'm here, I'm also going to move my middle bar. So if I look in the project manager pane, what I've got are these clamp moves, but these are my initial start positions. So what I want to do is throw these away. So I'm going to go over to here and I'm going to say set initial positions. So if I right click now and simulate, play, I'm undertaking machining on the far side of the component, then on the near side of the component. But what I need to do is I need to move these outer clamps before I undertake the next operation, which is the sawing. So I'm going to go back to the operations tab here. So the first thing that I need to do is to support the component. So I'm going to move a clamp, which is this one here, and move it down to the middle so I can support the component. What I'm also going to do now is move these two out. So move this one up, across, and this one up. So there are all my clamp moves, but what I need to do is just rearrange my operation order. I've got to make sure these moves are undertaken before I undertake my sawing. So I'm just going to move this operation down. If I right click and undertake a simulation this time and play, on the latest version here, the slider bar also affects the clamp move speeds. So we have moved those ones at the edge out of the way and we're now in a position to cut the part.